the internet. It is Sunday the 5th of August 2018. I'm in a brightly lit area aka the airport. I'm off to Vanuatu for five, four days, three nights. Pretty excited by this. I've got some great things coming. Not going to blow them all for you right now but I am being hosted by the Hideaway Island Resort. It's a place I've never been before. It's in the Pacific. It's going to be beautiful and warm. The only issue I got this morning is that I have to fly to Brisbane. I've got to fly to Brisbane before we go to Port Villa, which is kind of confusing because the flight back goes Port Villa, Sydney. Just that little extra step, especially early in the morning. I got up at stupid o'clock this morning, 4 a.m. Got to go to Brisbane, then you got to transfer to the international. But I mean, who am I to complain? I'm going to Vanuatu. I'm going to be staying in a beautiful resort. Can't really complain, can I? Yet here I am complaining. <laughs> Thanks. That's good, Mr. Kabush. Down row 29, Thank you're on the you. right. Did you hear that last name pronunciation? Completely wrong. I do have a very strange last name, so it's not unusual for those guys to get that wrong. Sydney, Brisbane, it's a quick flight. A little bit longer than Sydney, Melbourne. You get up, you go across, you come back down, you're done. Just heard the general announcement. It's actually only an hour and eight minutes to Brisbane. That's closer than the Melbourne flight. Less time in the air. They're probably not even going to do a service, it's that quick. We go up, we come back down, we're in Brisbane. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Brisbane Airport, where the local time is fast approaching 20 minutes past eight. Welcome to Brisbane. If you are from outside of Australia, you'll probably call it Brisbane, because it's spelt Brisbane, but it is said Brisbane. Another one of those weird Australian things. Whoa. This is a short stop here, maybe one and a half hours, and then jump on another flight to Port Villa. Now I am looking for the international transfer. Here it is. Take a short bus ride to the international terminal. And this better be a short bus ride because boy, I really need to do a poo. Been up since 4 a.m. Haven't had a chance to express myself. It's gonna happen very soon. Fingers crossed, not here on this bus. This is Brisbane International Airport. I've got about an hour and a half to my flight, so I am gonna hit that poo. You thought I was gonna take you into the bathroom? No. If it was my daily vlog, I would. Now I'm actually in the bathroom. Cut! Now that that business is taken care of, I can relax. Got about an hour till I board, check some emails, some comments from the lovely givers, and then it's Port Vila. You know what I could also do? I could do a walking NSD. It's time for NSD. NSD this episode is Danny Black. You all know Danny Black from the channel Where Is Danny Black and his secondary channel, his live streaming channel called Here Is Danny Black with an X as his little X marks the spot. I can tell you about Danny Black and I can show you Danny Black or simply, if you haven't met the guy, check here, see his channel, enjoy his approach to life. He's an American living here in Brisbane and I'm sure he calls it Brisbane. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I always do this when I'm boarding a flight. Because I know I get the furthest back seat possible, I make sure I'm at the front of the gate. My little way of speeding the process up. I've got to go all the way to the back of the plane. You want to do that when there's no one on the plane. I do the thing that's right and I get there early. Just been told that the flight is very empty and I can already select three seats together. It's only a two hour flight though. This is a very, very quick flight. Even though it's an international flight, there's no complimentary alcohol on board this flight. Welcome to Port Vila, Vanuatu. The local time is five minutes past two. Can you believe it's raining? Ah! Hello? It's raining! What's going on? It's supposed to be warm! It is pretty warm, but it is raining. 
Benham. How you going? All right. Good to see you. Moses. Moses. Welcome, welcome to Vanuatu. Thank you, man. This is Moses. Moses is going to drive me to Hi. the Hideaway <laughs> Island. Moses just tells me there are no traffic lights in all of Vanuatu and no speed limits. <laughs> That's casual, man. Pretty casual here. That over there is Hideaway Island. That's where I'm headed. Moses has dropped me here at the wharf. The jetties uh, had some bad weather, so we're gonna be get a boat here in a minute, and then we're gonna go across to the island. Hey Moses, thanks for bringing me here, man. Hi, <laughs> welcome, man. Thanks, Moses. Hi, thanks, buddy. Have a good time, man. See you later. What a nice guy. Always nice when the first person you see in a new country is super welcoming and super friendly. Hi, Sherry. You must be Sherry. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> nice I'm pretending we haven't already met. We've already met once. Very Welcome excited. to Hideaway. We're Thank glad you. to have you here. This is going to taste refreshing. Thank you. This is Paulina. Paulina, thank you so much. You're welcome. So this is my bungalow for the next four days. B4. Benon 4. And have a look at this. Sherry, the wonderful Sherry who you've just previously met. A bottle, a bottle of white. This is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna sit right out on that balcony. First of all, I'm gonna show you the room. This is the bathroom, room tour, bungalow tour. What's in here? Wow. That's huge, isn't it? Where does this door go? I think this door just goes back out here. Okay, so this is like one big circle. Very nice. Hideaway Island. Look at the view. Vanuatu. What a nice place. Hideaway Island. Thank you, Sherry, for hosting me. Thank you for being such an accommodating soul. She's got lovely stories to tell. She's Hawaiian originally. She's been managing here for 10 months. There's all sorts of stories on this island. Hopefully I can explore them and show you. Right now though, I've been up since 4 a.m. This is gonna be great. I didn't even look where this wine comes from. Ah, it's a product of Australia. How about that, hey? Good wine comes from the home country. You hear those birds? It always trips me out when I'm in a new country and you hear just the simple sound of a bird which we don't hear. It's just a slightly different take on the, the tweet tweet that you're familiar with. And of course if you come from Vanuatu you're very familiar with that but I'm not so I'm not. Can't see. Oh there it is. No, he's already gone. This here is the western side of the island and this is a place which you know I would rather situate myself just because of sunsets over water. That sun is beckoning me. Maybe I'll come back down here with the rest of that white wine and park myself for a sunset mission later on. This behind me is the Hideaway Beach Bar, probably where most evenings happen because of that sunset right there. Could take a drink here, sit down on any of these benches, these deck chairs, and just enjoy that sunset. And I plan on doing that later on for sure. This is Stanley here, it. the husband of Sherry, the general manager's here on Hideaway Island. Nice to meet you, Stanley. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for the beer. Cheers. Local beer, right? Tusker. Tusker bitter, because bitter is better. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's nice. Very easy to drink. It's a good one, yeah. Very easy to drink. Stanley and Sherry have now produced the local rum, Melee rum. Comes in a plastic bottle. Get in the frame, where are you? Come, come back here. Are you trying to get out of the frame? Yes. <laughs> and we're going to do a shot here. To make a memorable, memorable event. Stanley, Sherry Cheers. and Melee rum. Cheers. That's right. Cheers. Yeah. Welcome to Hideaway. I'm going I'm to taste it first. Here in, in the world famous Melee Bay. Yep. Melee rum. There we go. Nice, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, shit. I'm spilling it. Oh, that is so good. Unbelievable. That is really good. Comes in a plastic bottle and they write the alcohol percentage on the bottle. So you can't, you never know what you're getting, right? Until it's you a get little it. different they, every they, time. They test yeah. each batch. Yeah, I've so seen cool. it anywhere between 38 and 58%. This particular one is 36%, so it's a little less. That's awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> so now that it's dark, the sun's disappeared, there's a kick-ass menu here on, on the island and I've been talking with Sherry and also with Stan about what I should choose from this menu. I understand that there is a local curry that's 
bit of a specialty. Talk, us about, talk to us about that. Well, it's a highway, uh, Hideaway Island signature dish. It's a coconut curry, so it's different from an Indian curry gotcha. in, in that it's not really hot or spicy. Right. It's mostly uh, made with coconut cream. And there's some, uh, also some uh, milk cream. Yeah. And uh, I'm not going to tell you all the ingredients that's in okay. it. Okay, no, that's but, good. Uh, um, but uh, um, I strongly suggest you try one. Okay. I'm uh, hearing you. I'm hearing you loud and clear. My favorites are the fish and the chicken. Oh, there's However, different. However, okay. A lot of people prefer the beef, so it's up to you. So there's beef, fish, or chicken. Yes, and you can also have it vegetarian version. Or vegetarian. That's available as well. I'm going to put this to, to the givers out there. What do you think I would have chosen here? Given the fact we're on an island, what either beef, chicken, or fish, which would you choose? Which would you think I'd choose? <laughs> of course, I did get the fish. If you, if you were... First day. Hey, 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 no barking. If you guessed that I got the fish, you guessed correct. I'm on an island. Of course, I'm going to order the fish. There it is, and enough demonstration. Let's just enjoy it. Get some rice, get some fish there. Giddy up. Oh yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have a moment here alone. <laughs> bad, bad luck that you can't taste this because it's beautiful. So good. Good recommendation. <laughs> Well, that's been some lovely food we've had this evening. Great to meet the managers here and to be welcomed onto the Hideaway Island Resort. Beautiful, great company, great people. Had an awesome night. I'm just heading back to my room right now and I got a message from Stan saying, why don't we go for a nighttime dive? That's what this place is famous for. Let's go for a night dive. So let's go back down to the beach and meet him to do that. Oh, that's um. We're out of time! I know, I know, I know. I should keep a closer eye on the clock. I'm always running out of time on my own vlog. Hey look, if you enjoy what you're seeing here on this channel and you want to support the content by becoming a financial giver, there's plenty of ways to do that in the description field of this video. And if you want to become a giver on any other level, please hit the subscribe button here. Check out a random vlog there and my previous vlog there. If you want to become a Patreon giver, you can do that right here. I'm early this time, aren't I? I'm early. I can't believe it, I've got time. There's time up my sleeve.